Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Rhino Jaw Outdoors. And if you have a native kayak and you have the propel drive and you're looking at for instructions on how to do a really clean install of this uh, Yak Attack Roto Grip on top of your propel drive, stay tuned. So when you get this, it's set up to be put on um, like a rail system. So it's got the T-bolt in there. Um, but for the propel drive, that's just not going to work. So um, what you got to do is there's a cap on top of here. So we're going to take that off. And what that's going to expose is the end of this bolt here. So um, some people, like what they'll do, I'm trying to do this one-handed because I'm holding the camera is just take that nut out of there and then what they'll do is they'll take this t-bolt and they will just put it through the top like that and then screw it like that down into the drive but the problem with mounting it this way is number one it just doesn't look clean and then also, if you're trying to put like your net down in there, it wants to pop out. You see that? Just that, like it went down that time, watch. Boop. It doesn't want to stick. Even that little bit of thickness of that T-bolt is not going to allow that to really set down in there the way that it should. So here's the solution. So I went to Lowe's and I picked up this little um, bolt here and I will flash up a picture of the item number and stuff. It's a stainless bolt and we're going to use this to clean up this install. Alright, so I've got everything out of this and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this uh, quarter inch bolt and I'm going to put it down in there. So then once my bolt is in there I can turn it on its side since I'm doing it with one hand and I'm going to take my little cap piece and you can see it's got that little like um, nut shaped um, type bushing in there. So when you push that in, it's going to fully seat that bolt. Now, I'm going to use the little, um, it's like a rubber grommet that they supplied, and I'm going to put it with the cup side facing down, and then I'm going to mount this on my propel drive. So make sure we don't get it cross threaded here. Here we go. And that little rubber bushing kind of gives you a little bit of play as far as how tight you can get it. So it's in there really good, but you know, with some effort, you can still keep twisting it. But then what that's gonna allow me to do is whenever I push this down, now that fully seats down in there no problem so easy solution there so guys i hope that helps you guys out if you're looking at installing that roto grip that yak attack roto grip on your propel drive um, when i first did it i did it with that just that t-bolt and my net wouldn't fully seat down in there and it was really frustrating so um, that little um, setup was able to allow me to have that clean install and the look that i really wanted so um, if you all have any questions, please comment down below and let me know if you have any questions. It should be pretty simple. That little bolt was just 40 cents at Lowe's, so pretty easy setup. And as always, guys, I appreciate every single one of you guys watching. Don't forget to get outside and do something awesome. And I will see every one of y'all. I'll see you out there in the next video.